Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new to my channel, welcome. Today's video, I'm gonna discuss questions you can ask yourself when decluttering. Now, I was thinking about videos that I could film for this channel, and I realized that there were a lot of people who are curious about my minimalist lifestyle, and they're kinda trying to incorporate it into their life, and they're in the beginning stages. And so I tried to bring myself back to that time in my life when I was there and having those thoughts. And I thought it could be helpful to create a list of questions that you can ask when you are starting out the process and trying to get rid of stuff. So that is what I've done. That is what we're talking about today. Now, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That will let you be notified of new videos or you can hit the little bell down there and that will actually send you an actual like alert notification of the video. So that way you can always stay up to date with when I upload. I also have a website which I will link down below which we've been through all this before but the website kind of just has a lot of exclusive content, posts that you don't see here or videos you don't see here. So you know for example not too long ago I did a post titled why you can't afford to travel and then I also shared a post that shares my favorite travel tips, apps, all that kind of thing. So be sure to head over to the blog. Hit the newsletter, put in your email address, and you'll be notified of new posts there as well. But for now, let's jump into the first question. I think this is a pretty important question because as we move through life, we go through different stages and we tend to gravitate towards different things as we kind of grow and mature. You know, for a good example of this is my wedding. I got married really young at 18 years old. I was marrying a Marine and I thought it would be fun to do the traditional like red and white and incorporate, you know, my husband in his uniform. And while that was beautiful at that stage in my life, if I got married today, if we had another wedding, it would be totally different. It would be black and white and chic and simple. That just goes to show you like where I was at in that time in my life and where I am now. So asking yourself, would I buy this if I bought it now? It kind of puts you in the mindset to see where you are in life and if that item still fits into your life. For me, the area that I held on to the most duplicate items was the kitchen. So, for example, I probably had about 20 mixing spoons and while keeping a number of them, I think I have about five now, is really great because I'm constantly mixing different things and you know cooking things all at one time, I definitely did not need 20 spoons. Having duplicate items just makes you have to care for more stuff. You know, you think like laundry, if you have 10 of the same shirt, rather than washing, folding, and wearing this one shirt or these three shirts, you're gonna continue to wear the shirts until you run out of laundry. And it's just making more work for you. You don't need three can openers, it's completely useless. Take a look all around your house because you would be surprised at where these duplicate items show up. So a lot of people have that shirt with the button that's broke that they never got around to putting on or the iPhone that broke and cracked the screen and you think that one day you're going to get it fixed and make money out of it or the iPads or whatever. More likely than not, you are never going to get around to fixing that item because you've probably already moved on to something similar. Now, I have shared on this channel before that I do not like to spend money. It's, I don't know, it's like deeply ingrained in me not to spend money on things that I don't need. So this was really difficult for me in the beginning because if I spent money on something, it's because I wanted it in my home or I needed it in my home at the time. But what I came to realize was that just because I spent money on something and it was a worthwhile investment years ago does not mean that it fits into my life now. For you, this may be different. It may be, have I used this in the last three months, the last six months, the last year? You have to kind of decide what period of time works for you. The reason why I stick to a year is because there are items in my home that I do not use regularly, but I use whenever we host events or parties. So my husband and I love to have get togethers. We love to have people over for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And so there are definitely like serving dishes that I do not use on the daily. And I may only use once or twice a year. 
but when I do use them, they are providing great value to me. So that is why kind of a year time span is kind of a, a great place to start, but adjust according to you and your lifestyle. If you haven't used it in a year, if you haven't used it through all the seasons and all the school year and all of the sports and whatnot, you're probably not going to use it again. Now I am going to cut that video here. I'm going to keep it short and put this as part one, but I do have remaining questions. So I'm going to put that in a separate video that I'll upload later. But the one thing I do want to stress before I end this video is that this process of constantly asking questions is not a one and done thing. This is something that you will do repeatedly, maybe even daily. As you experience more of the decluttering process, you will find that it becomes natural to ask questions and it won't feel like you are going out of your way in life. It'll just become a natural process. When you are shopping, you will be grocery shopping, but you'll see something that, oh, I would like that, that could be great. But then you're gonna ask yourself, do I really wanna spend money on that? Will it really be worthwhile? And you won't even think about it because it'll just be a natural thing that you kind of process through your brain. This might also mean you're cooking in the kitchen and as you are cooking, you open up a drawer and you see that there's an item in there that you haven't used in forever and you'll ask yourself, will I use this again? Maybe not. So just know as you are decluttering, yes, in the beginning there are tons of things that you can get rid of and it kind of gets a momentum going, but you will hit a spot where you're not getting rid of things or donating things or whatever you want to call it as rapidly but you will never stop asking yourself questions and questioning what you bring into your home or what you push out. I hope this video helps you guys. If you are a fan of videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you are interested in a part two and be sure to subscribe for more videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.